order of business. We actually did skip out on you guys. Sorry, I didn't include you in the clutch installs. We got the STM primary and secondary on there. We'll probably take the box off and give you guys a shot of that at some point here. But this is pretty much the first add-on I do on every bike right here. We upgrade the uh, air box lid cover. And this is from our friends at uh, Custom Motor Quad, as you can see there. There's contact information if you uh, as well need one. And these come with a better style gasket, like the OMC style. So it's a real good thick foam. Really allows it to mold to the contour of the box because the box have a, a habit of uh, warping a little bit, you know. The bikes run fairly lean. However, we'll go down and see Andy get a tune on it to uh, correct that issue as well. But insurance policy right here. What I like to do is take the gasket off and just put a light layer of dialect grease on both sides to give it a really good seal. But yeah, this gasket is pretty, uh, pretty weak foam. Hey buddy, how you doing? What's going on, Oh, we're just actually uh, over at Spaz's garage uh, putting a couple things on the bike. Oh, hey, right on. What are you putting on it? Uh, just a couple small things, a couple BRP add-ons, the rear skid plate, the rad protector, uh, new air box lid. We got the clutches installed. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, I got a, I got a smoking deal on assassinators. If you know anybody looking for them. Okay, well that's good because when we get this video up, surely there's going to be people asking. So 32 by 8 by 14. Yeah, the ones I'm running. Yeah. Eleven hundred and fifty dollars plus tax. Wow. Are you serious? Yep, 32, 34 by 8 by 14. Yep. $1,200 plus tax. Oh my God. As fast as those go, I'll be ordering more. All so, right, right on, man. And the prices could even get better than that. That's crazy. How come, uh, Raj? Because uh, I'm buying, honestly, because they didn't do a good enough job letting me know my discounts when I buy in volume. Okay. And I wish I would have known this joke two years ago because yeah. I would have sold Everything people would be buying, no one would go anywhere else for a Well, those so. are crazy prices right there, bud. Like, they're there, it's unheard of to get a better deal than like 1400 for a set of uh, because man, it's super busy, you know, but uh, yeah, man, if you're looking for Nader, especially for the spring, lowest price guaranteed. Give me a shout, lots of 32s and 34s in stock, and uh, yeah, huge shout out, Roger, and the boys at New to You Tires. Appreciate the help from all the boys in the back, and uh, as usual. Top notch, Rog. Thanks a lot, man. Cheers. We'll plan a trip down there, pick up the wheels, visit the boys at the shop, for sure. Yeah, well, you're going to come down, come down for the night and stay overnight for one night, stay at my place. Yeah, we'll plan a weekend. It'll be nice. Yeah. Yeah. For All sure. right, buddy. Okay. Cool. Right on, Rog. Okay, man. Thanks, buddy. Okay. Take care, buddy. Yep. Goodbye. Bye. Man, that's a screaming deal on Nader's. Over here, we got our BRP skid plate, rear section that doesn't come with the Renegades. Okay, haven't put one of these on the new Renegades yet, so this will be the first time, but uh, rad pre-screen, another BRP must have. Get a little bit of hardware you do, here's the pre-screen, a couple bushings, rubber bushings, and then this little piece of trim that you can go around the edges, and that way it's uh, not going to cut your hands, right? So that's all there is to that. you guys here that's got her lit up your two mounting bolts here that's going to give you some movement to be able to pull your plastic out what you're going to need to do what do we got here uh, that's a piece of brp wrap from the crate that's what that is well you don't need that up there plucking your blood in your rad huh well we'll fix that okay so then the next ones are right up here you got one and two and i believe the 13 mils if i recall Oh, rigid to the rescue, because those are a pain in the ass. So that just made removing the bumper pretty darn easy. Take a few minutes, I'm gonna prep up the sides of these. I gotta cut this and, uh, and we'll be right back.
And the camera died on you, why wouldn't it, right? But uh, there it is. I'll tell you, a 10 mil wrench was, a uh, ratchet wrench was my best friend at getting into these little mounting points on the corner. So you got one, one right there, opposite side. And then same idea down below, right? They're right in behind here, so I had spaz. Peel away on the plastics. We've got the 10 mil behind there. She's installed, and that's going to save you a great deal of mud and stuff right straight to the rad, right? It's going to collect all the big stuff, so definitely uh, helps out when it comes to not overheating the bike, right? We dig it. Line up nicely again. There's your rad. Good. Wow, that actually works really good. Oh, good. moments later we'll go with this camera we are doing some more maintenance finally uh have some time here we're gonna work away this weekend got the 18 in here today and we've got this broken axle in the rear um as well the seal started leaking same spot so luck has it i'm gonna go in there i'm gonna change that as well while we're at it and then i noticed the tiniest bit but nevertheless i've got play in my air and bushing so i've got my bushings all here in the bag everything we need there i've got my new seal for the rear and uh where's that axle i already pulled that out there if i've got the right axle and we do so that's kind of where we're at nothing left but uh to get to it ones you can get first right and it looks like that may drive into that so that's exactly where i'm going to go with it we're going to try that guy first and we'll see how this pans out and then when i start punching on this i'm going to have spaz rotate the hub on the other side and hopefully that will have it try to come out rather straight instead of binding on an angle i'll bring you guys in for a closer look so you can see just how I've been effective with this in the past multiple times. I don't like doing it. It's kind of my last ditch resort because, well, but that seal's getting replaced, so I'm not really worried about it. Got it. Ooh, really? Yep. Yeah. And that's my huh? contaminated dip by the looks of it because of that leaky seal. Yep. There she goes. The other thing people will do is just jam a screwdriver in it. If you don't have any tools or a drill or anything like that, you can literally just hit it with a hammer and collapse it within side itself. Basically just causing it to, you know, yeah. is another method, right? But I just don't like, because sometimes it'll go right through the seal. Easy enough. Seal and axle replaced, just like that. Now just reverse your order and uh, put it all back together. That's all you really need to see there. Cut a chunk of vent line, throw it on the end of these. Makes this uh, filling procedure a little bit easier.
we definitely spared you guys some cursing this morning. Although, I mean, it is all standard, straightforward. Took a little longer than I like. Should use the warm up. Let's let her warm up. But otherwise, this thing's pretty well ready to go. I appreciate your help, buddy. Three days later. I hope you guys had a blessed Merry Christmas. As did I, nice and quiet with the family. Uh, but time to get back to work is now, eh? So, we got an exciting day. We're headed over to Spazis. We're gonna see the old before and after of the new SLG uh, sound system we got for the, uh, the Renegade. And then we're gonna ride on down to Andy's. Get a tune on that thing, right? So a little dyno time today. Get a little before and after on that as well. So that should be pretty cool. And I think that'll get us one step closer. Well, it'll get us a couple steps closer actually to uh, finishing out this bike. I think the last thing we'll do is graphics. Some sort of wrap or decal kit or something. Um, and then yeah, pretty much wrapped up. We're just waiting for our original mods order, which should be on its way soon. I do believe they're on vacation for the holidays and I hope they're having a good one. Um, and then our farm mudding order. So we get some floorboards, we get these 32 slapped on. So we won't be doing that today. We may see them. I'm gonna take a peek when we get to Spazes. He's gonna wanna see them. But uh, yeah, all right boys, we'll be back to you here in a little bit. Cheers. We are okay, everybody. well yeah, it shouldn't take us too long to whip them into our system, give the old folks a before and after on her. No. Not at all, I don't think. I'm gonna give a quick sweep here, Joe, because I have to okay. Finish once again. Yeah. This time we got the old red tip on it, right? So give you a little better light in there. Check nice. it out, boys. Very simplistic. Very easy installation. Like I said, it's worse to get that one out of there. So that's what we'll get working on. And uh let's see how this thing sounds. Actually, let's give her a quick fire up while she's in stock mode. Okay. Here's your before sound, boys. We always do this for you lads. Takes. She's pretty simple. Yeah. But uh, this thing here is bound to wake her up, don't worry. for the bike, I'd say, don't you think?
phone clip. That's intense, bud. That's dirty. We'll go get her tuned. Oh, 68 horsepower? Yeah. Yeah, that's wow. impressive. That's wicked. That's impressive. What did we pull out of our stock can M? I think the first time we were playing with it, it was in the 65, 67 yeah. range, right? And I'm not sure it was. 78, 78 or 80. Was it 78? Yeah, it, it might have been 78. Eh? Almost 79. Yeah, see, it's been a while. I don't even remember now. That was the Sandman. These look pretty nice, though. You know what? Yeah, they do. Look, look at the headlights in it, really? guys. Look at the headlights, hey? Eh? Check out the headlights, guys. Look at the LED strip that they put up top too. Oh yeah, is that for a signal light? Yep. Yep. Oh, oh yeah, all right. signal lights. Nice. They all have trailer hitches with uh, trailer plugs, four ways. They come with yeah. everything. Everything yeah. to be yeah. roadworthy, one hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. USB plugs and everything on them. Yep. Oh wow, eh? And charge plugs here. Yeah. Yeah. For those oh, you guys yeah. who don't oh, know, our, our buddy here, uh, Andy, he moonlights as a CF Moto. Uh, well, I don't know if you're in sales. Oh, are you? Man, what are you in, I Andy? Are you in sales? Nice you are in sales. All right. Well, if you're looking for a, a reasonably priced ATV, then talk to Andy Brown there, bud. He'll get you hooked. What's the dealership? Uh, Hastings Green. Hastings. Okay. Oh, right on. <clears throat> Exhaust system. This is for this. Yeah, they're big. They're big. Who makes that? RJ. That's EC. Who? They're in Finland. Also, oh, it's a it's a competitor to RJ directly, big times. I've got the RJ bike here. It's actually smaller. Hmm. It's a smaller diameter pipe than that. Oh. That's the same pipe. And that's the RJ brand for that bike. Oh, so you've been doing some tuning and testing and... I've got an 800 as well. You've had time now, eh? Look and at this. Has, oh yeah. Oh yeah. All the, the, all the, all the options for the CF Moto. Sure, that's all CF Moto shirt. All of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. Well, that's impressive, man. Yeah, see that's the only thing I don't understand about these guys. Like TGB was, TGB's the exact same. They make a 1000, but they only offer it in this, this max chassis. It's yeah. like, you guys will not start competing until you fucking shorten it up and snub it up and make it more yeah. poppy, right? And that's what's gonna do it. Yeah, no shit, eh? I've never That's seen pretty cool. 
Oh, yeah, That's awesome. That was crack. Fuck, man. That's loud, eh? And Daddy ran for the door. <laughs> awesome. You can tell the difference once the computer learned the way. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. From the way it was before? Does it like the way it was before? So the red and the blue are red one, are stock. Right? The red oh, and the blue uh, are stock. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You can even see like the first the first I did two runs and then I did the log the first run and then the second run you can see it gained a little bit. But then like the first two runs were basically stock and then you still had lots top end gain. Yeah. But once it learned you just Fucking skyrocketing at the bottom. Yeah, yeah. Like 11 foot pound gain. And like I say, if it was 78 to 8200 and shipped out, it'd probably be in the mid 70s. But it depends on what you're doing. You're going to put bigger tires on. Yes. You're going to have to screw the clutch to get out. Yes. We're definitely going to end up having to play with it. For sure. Yeah, and Steve said 7,800 7, RPM minimum chip The clutching's way low. The show's well for bad and clutching. <laughs> well, you gotta play with your tire size. You're not even, you haven't started. You slam the clutches on. Yes. That's it, right? That's right. Yeah. All right, boys, just like that, Andy Brown's compound. We got her tuned up and ready to go. We're gonna put some more weight on her, get 32 inch naders on her. We'll do some fine tuned clutching and she'll be ready to hit the skag. So this one's good and we've convinced, uh, <laughs> we can put Spaz to make throw his on the dial. Let's see what she does. Just tell 
wife that she yeah. don't even comprehend. Clutching. <laughs> One thing at a time. Fuck yeah. Appreciate it. Big time, Andy. You're a good man.